Ever since I was a kid, I've dreamed about making it big. When my professional football career was cut short due to injury during the 2019 season, it was the end of a real life dream. Through learning new skills and flexing my creativity, I'm still making it big, but in new ways. But I knew my second career would involve my love for building, design, and construction, utilizing my engineering degree from Brown. With technology, learning is possible anywhere, for anyone, at any age. Recently, I've been learning new tools that help me imagine my future. Using Autodesk technology, I can look across multiple dimensions at once and discover new solutions and new ideas. I can make things at a massive scale. For my next step, I want to build something meaningful. I want to give back, I want to make it last, and I want to make it big. The world right now is facing many challenges. As parents, we have had to quickly adjust to these changing times. One of the benefits of leveraging my engineering background is I have a new path into the world of design and construction. In order to pursue that path, I need to grow my technology skills. The future is now. Like me, students need to train for the future of work. I want to help students share the same passion I have for learning. Kids also have new ideas we can all learn from. So Jocelyn, let me see what you're working on. So this is something that I worked with over the summer with Digital Ready. Here's the sketch that I did. Good work. Were you able to use any kind of software to, to actually render it on a computer? I was able to do some rendering with Revit. That looked like a beautiful design. I'm going to show my screen right now. In this part, you can see the, the office pods here. That's great. Next, I want to try to do the sculpting so that I can make my own objects and then render those. That's awesome. I want to share with you a project I've been working on called All Things Athlete. It's a new gym I'm designing and building. I've been using Formit pretty heavily lately. A few things I love about this program is just like, once you learn it, it's really easy just to kind of start clicking around and making it. I'm really proud of you guys for going this route. I really appreciate your time today, and it was really nice to meet you guys. Bye. Bye. See you guys. Thank you. As I continue to develop my All Things Athlete project, focusing on new advances in fitness facilities, I'm also consulting with existing gyms on how new design ideas could take them to the next level. So this is the scale of the actual gym? Yeah, yeah. If you have the measurements for the equipment, you can put it in here so we can get an actual floor plan and rendering. That's and cool. I mean, you could you could essentially walk through, you can import it into a virtual reality and put on goggles and actually walk through the gym before it even really? exists. Yeah, it's, uh, so it's a pretty cool tool to be able to, to really kind of put dreams and visions into real world applications. Design is a journey. I'm headed to my hometown of Philly to gain some inspiration. So how do we make and build what we need while balancing this with less negative impact, less depletion of resources, less waste, less harm to communities? This is a design opportunity. Hey James, thanks for coming out to Streamline today. Tell me a little bit about what you have going on here. I've been working in Autodesk Format. I've been able to three-dimensionally design a fitness center I dream of building. Right now I'm just in the concept phase, but I've heard a lot about Revit and I'd really like to, to give it a test run. Typically when we do these tours, we're using it for residential homes um, and new construction so buyers can get a sense of what they're buying before it's actually built. I take amazing memories with me from my time in the NFL. I made it from my days in arena football, in the UFL, to a practice ball player in the NFL, to eventually a three-time Super Bowl champion. But my story isn't over. The thing about innovation is it often starts with something ordinary. Look around. Where in your community is there an opportunity for better? What can you design? What could you build? How could you make it big? Don't design alone. Students, join me, James Devlin, for the new Make It Big webinar series, where you can build your skills along with me and earn a chance to win prizes. Visit autodeskmakeitreal.com to learn more. Autodesk, make it big.